What is conflict negotiation? Conflict negotiation is a dynamic process aimed at resolving disputes, differences, or disagreements between parties by finding common ground and reaching mutually acceptable solutions. It is a strategic form of communication where conflicting parties engage in discussions to address their respective needs, interests, and concerns. This process is not about winning or losing, rather, it focuses on creating outcomes that are satisfactory to all parties involved. Using negotiation as a method of conflict resolution is popular because parties seek to achieve a solution that respects each side's perspectives while minimizing the negative impact of the disagreement. This process often involves open dialogue, active listening, compromise, and sometimes concessions. Possessing honed negotiation skills will prove useful in a variety of settings, including interpersonal relationships, international diplomacy, workplaces, legal disputes, and more. Before we move further in this video, let us now talk about what is negotiation and conflict management. I hope you knew that parties often approach negotiation and conflict management from different perspectives, differences that can lead to common negotiation mistakes and disappointing outcomes. To enhance negotiation and conflict management skills, it's important to acknowledge that differences in perceived conflict may be likely. Similarly, actions and statements designed to convey toughness can backfire by launching an escalatory spiral that is difficult to contain. If that happens, recognize that your adversary's provocations could be intended to inspire steps in conflict resolution. Try to soften your position and look for solutions using novel negotiation and conflict management techniques. Different forms of disputes. Identifying the specific type of dispute is crucial for selecting the appropriate conflict resolution strategies and addressing the underlying issues effectively. It is necessary to consider some of the top dispute examples I am going to highlight in this video. 1. Contractual disputes, conflicts arising from breaches or disagreements related to contracts, agreements, or terms and conditions. 2. Financial disputes, conflicts over financial matters such as payments, pricing, billing errors, or financial obligations. 3. Interpersonal conflicts, disagreements or tensions between individuals within an organization, which can affect team dynamics and productivity. 4. Strategic disputes, conflicts regarding the direction, goals, or strategic decisions of a business or department. 5. Intellectual property disputes, conflicts related to examples of intellectual property rights, patents, trademarks, or copyrights. 6. Employment disputes, conflicts arising from employment-related issues, including disputes with employees, managers, or HR matters. 7. Supply chain disputes, conflicts within the supply chain, such as disputes with suppliers, distributors, or logistics partners. 8. Regulatory compliance disputes, conflicts arising from noncompliance with industry regulations or legal requirements. 9. Customer disputes, conflicts involving customer complaints, dissatisfaction, or disputes over products or services. 10. Partnership disputes, conflicts among business partners, shareholders, or stakeholders regarding management, ownership, or decision-making. When a dispute arises, the first step to a successful conflict resolution is taking a step back and thinking about what mode of negotiation you are in. Conflict Negotiation Skills Business negotiators are realizing more and more that the best negotiators are those who can create and assert value simultaneously, or, in other words, they are competitors as well as collaborators. Conflict negotiation techniques involve various persuasive, analytical, and interpersonal skills, such as 1. Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence is the ability to control your own emotions and recognize others' feelings. Being conscious of the emotional dynamics during conflict negotiation can allow you to remain calm and focused on the core issues. If you're unsatisfied with the current negotiation, express the need for a break so you and the other party can return later with refreshed perspectives. 
2. Expectation Management Just as you should enter a conflict negotiation with a clear goal, the other party also likely has its own defined expectations. If you believe you might not be able to agree to each other's terms, you could try adjusting your own expectations. Skilled expectation management involves maintaining a balance between being a firm negotiator and a collaborative one. 3. Research Performing research can help support your claims and start a foundation for your negotiation by beginning a negotiation with a fact-driven and open-minded assessment of the issues and sharing useful insights, you and the other party may better understand how the conflict originated and how to solve it. 4. Empathy Empathy allows you to understand the other party's perspective and negotiate toward a win-win approach. This skill is useful for maintaining positive and productive conflict negotiations that produce lasting connections. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to visit our online educational platform at www.eduslides.com by registering for free courses. Guess what? You can as well earn a certificate of completion after completing your course and you don't have to pay to register. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos by clicking the subscribe button below.